Hey everyone, this is Gleb and today I want to show how I use a combination of two plugins, Cypress Recourse and SizePack, to execute multiple requests to the backend until the backend responds with success and then I can continue with my Cypress test. So the app is running, I'm gonna start the test and we just have a spec. But notice is clicking on the button, but the server doesn't respond yet. Um, we can click multiple times and now notice it responds hello. So what we want to do is to execute those requests to that endpoint ourselves. And once the server is ready and responds, responds with 200, responds with maybe uh, expected body object, then we can click on the button and confirm that uh, the page shows hello. So right before we do this, um, meaning like clicking on the button, we want to make the same get request to the greeting. So we can use sci get, uh, re request command get greeting. And let's see what happens. Okay, so notice at the beginning it just fails. We can allow it to fail by, by the way, uh, get is the default, so we don't need to use it. We can say URL and right here we can say fail on status code false. So notice it makes request, it fails, and then we continue, and then our click fails. What we want to do is to keep making requests until the server responds with success. To do that, I wrote a plugin called Recur Cypress Recurs. So we can import a utility function called Recurs from Cypress Recurs. And the purpose of Recurs is to repeat Cypress commands until a predicate passes. So instead of just calling the request, we can say, okay, recurs. So the first argument is a function that does something. So in this case, it makes a request and this request can fail and that's fine. So this is a function and it just returns a Cypress chain of command. The second argument is a predicate. So whatever the first function yields, so in this case, it's a response, that's where we want to validate that object and return true. In this case, recursion will stop or false and recursion will go back to the first function and execute those steps again. So what do we have to check? Well, the server might not respond. So we can say, okay, is status code okay? Uh, the server might respond with 400 or 500. So we want to say, okay, uh, status code has to be 200 and we can look at the response object right and it has to be hello and another third argument that recurs allows is options uh, the suggestion is fine so we don't want to log intermediate steps we will delay one second between attempts and we're going to try for 10 seconds maximum so let's see if this works notice it tries it every second and boom, at some point the server responds with 200 and the body is hello. So we know the backend is ready. We click on the button. It makes the same call and the greeting response. So this was our first solution. We use a predicate to validate multiple things inside the response. And sometimes this validation is kind of nasty, right? Uh, we want to validate maybe deep inside the body of, of the response. It becomes verbose. So this is why I wrote a plugin called SciSpark. So we're going to say import Spark from SciSpark. And what it does, it allows you to specify properties of an object. And notice right here, we have an object response and we're checking its properties. Like its status code should be true status should be a number equal to 200. The body should be a string equal to hello. So there are lots of predicates that you can write and size pack allows to write those predicates easily. So right here we can use pack like this. We can say, okay, I know it's a predicate. So what we can do is we're gonna try and the spark kind of works in two steps. First, you give it all the predicates. Okay, so status code, should be true uh, status and right now these are all equality okay and we will pass the response object so 
Spark takes a single object of predicates and returns another function where you actually pass the object you want to validate. So we are trying and catching, okay, and we don't care about the error, right? But if there is an error, we'll return false. That means we want to iterate and otherwise we'll return true. So let's see how this works. Now notice right here, it actually shows the predicate that's failing. So let's do it again. So SizePack validates each property predicate one by one. Uh, this is an assertion, so Cypress prints it as an assertion. And it throws, which returns false. We go back and so on until all the predicates pass. And I actually like the way SizePack shows each passing property predicate nicely in the command log. Perfect. But there's a little bit of verbosity here, right? We're doing try, catch, and so on. Cypress recurs, the predicate function can be synchronous, or it has to be synchronous, and it can either return a boolean or it can throw. If it throws an error, then Cypress recurs knows that it has to try again. So we don't have to do try, catch, and return you know, a boolean. We can directly say, okay, just run Spark on the respond object, and it works exactly the same way. And the final bit of advice. Our predicate function gets an argument that's the current subject yielded by the first function that actually does something. And all we do, we take this argument, this response object, and we call the function returned by the spark, and we pass the response as an object. So the whole purpose of this function predicate is to call another function. So we can just eliminate it completely and just pass the function returned by the spark to the recurse. So whatever response the first function yields will go right here and will be validated if it doesn't pass the predicate an error will be thrown and cypress recurse will go back and retry after one second but if it yields i mean if it um, throws nothing then we know the predicate passed and recursion will finish and it will move on to the next uh, step in the test so one more time retries calling the backend validates the response object and if all the validations pass, then it continues with a test. So this is how I would combine Cypress Recurse and SizePack in the same test. I'll put a link uh, to the plugins and to a blog post that describes everything in detail in the description of this video. Thanks to Murat Oskan for asking this question and proposing initial solutions that I just refined just slightly to show in this video.